It is 9:10 on this Wednesday. We're just a few days away from the Great American Eclipse, which will happen during one of APS's highest solar production times. Yeah, so how does that all work, huh? How is the state's largest power company preparing for this day? We sent Kylie Cruz down to APS's solar fields to find out the answer. She's got her hard hat on and she is sharing some info with us this morning. Good morning. Yeah, I got here and they said, okay, unfortunately, we've got bad news for you. I said, okay, what's going to happen? Do you not have everything ready? They said, you're going to have to wear a hard hat. And so, of course, I have to follow the rules. But yes, I've got my hard hat on. We have Jim here. He is the director of solar generation for APS. You look good in your hard hat as well. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm excited to be here. We are here. This is a really cool plant. This is your largest solar plant. And uh, you guys unveiled it uh, to the public, you know, back in the beginning of the year. So this is a relative relatively new plant. Tell me a little bit about it because it is massive with all of these uh, solar panels surrounding us. So we are standing in the middle of approximately 182,000 of these panels that are behind me. There's 2300 rolls covering 400 acres of solar and land out here at the Red Rock. The Red Rock plant is about 100 miles south of Phoenix and it is one of the largest utility scale plants that APS owns and operates. So it is when in the final acceptance at the end of the year and, and first part of this year February. It's really cool, you know, when we see our drone shots and our drone operator to kind of look at all of the panels. It's just a sea of panels. So we have to be talking about the eclipse because, you know, solar basically, when we go to sleep, solar goes to sleep because the sun is not beating down on these panels. What's going to happen when we think of Monday and we think of the eclipse? Are you guys a little bit worried? Are people going to lose their power? So the answer is no. We're very prepared for this. This is no different than every day of operation at APS. Literally at night when the sun goes down, it goes to sleep. All the solar across the state goes to sleep. Our operations and marketing and trading prepare for that each and every day when the monsoon storms come in, we're prepared. We have a very diverse energy portfolio. 50% of that is actually carbon free energy. So when the power goes away on the solar and the sun goes down, that's when the load is at the highest. And these plants like this right here, when they go to sleep, we are going to take care of our customers like we do every day. This is a little unique, though, because we know exactly when it's happening. As you said, on Monday, starting about 9.15 to noon is going to be the eclipse. Right in the middle of the day, about 10.30 is when we're going to see approximately 60% of the sun covered by the moon. And it's going to impact the output of all solar across our grid about 40%. So we are teed up exactly to take care of that with all of our systems in internally. Okay, we like that. So good news, nobody has to freak out about their power going out or anything like that. This is definitely a very rare event for us to see uh, this kind of planned as well. And you guys, it's kind of unique as far as how it works. How many homes are relying on this plant uh, to keep their lights on? So this plant will power at approximately 10,000 average homes. But what's unique is it only does it during the daytime, so it goes to sleep at night. But the size of this at a 40 megawatt site, it's approximately 10,000 average residential homes during the day. But when the sun goes down again, we have the reg regular power to be able to back those customers up and give them the generation that they need. It's very complex, but I appreciate you breaking everything down for us in easy terms. Jim, thank you so much. We are actually going to tour a little bit more of the plant, so we'll join you in just about 30 minutes, hard hat and all, as we explore this Red Rock solar plant here uh, down south near the Marana area. How far a drive was that for you this morning, Kylie? What did you, what'd you say? How long a drive was that for you this morning? You know, it wasn't that bad. It was, you know, an hour and a half or so. Got to hang out <laughs> with convenient. Arnold, our photographer. So, and I got to sleep in, oh, too. I didn't have to okay. get up at 2 a.m. Nice. So, I'll win, take win. a field trip. All right. <laughs> Thank you.